Um, I'm Tracy and this I'm is Greg. Greg's a general manager of the Surin Group Holdings and today we're talking about a uh, company called Zexa which is part of the Surin group, Holdings yes. uh, division and we're talking about chemicals because the conversation out there is still really really high and concerned and there's a lot of anxiety around products like hand sanitizers. So um, today we particularly wanted to talk to you out there that are in childcare. Um, you may be a little bit less busy than, than you have been in the past because there's a lot more kids at home. However, this is a time to really think about um, the environment and the safety of the children. And in relation to this particular product, just to be sure and have some peace of mind around the fact that if you um, can't get hold of an alcohol-based sanitizer, there are in fact plenty of um, products out there, including this one that we're about to talk um, to you about, that don't have alcohol in them but they satisfy the same TJ requirements for efficacy as the alcohol ones do. So Greg, explain a little bit about the hand sanitizer that, that Zexa make to us in relation to not being alcohol based. Well, well, it all started with my wife. Your wife? Oh, my wife. Right. My wife's a nurse and she used to complain about using an alcohol based sanitizer mm -hmm. and um, said that it, you, know, you use it several times a night and your hands get quite cracked and sore. And so some time ago we worked on a formulation that behaved like alcohol, did the same things as alcohol, but was nicer on your hands. And so that's what we've got. And so it, the active ingredient is a common ingredient that's used in um, it, even the health area. It's called benzoconium chloride. And um, what that does is kill germs. So that's a, a ingredient that's commonly used in disinfectants in hospitals. That's example. right. Okay. And, and you'll go to any hospital and you'll um, grab the wipes, mm -hmm. you know, the, the sort of the wet wipes. If you look on the back, there, there's a really strong chance that the active ingredient in that product will be benzoconium chloride. I believe that you, we, we were just talking earlier um, in the tea room um, about this particular product having been tested as well. So there's a lot of... Um, relaxation around government regulations at the moment so uh, even to the point where the TGA is saying products don't have to be tested so what made Zexa go and have the product tested was it because of the no alcohol part of things or yeah so look the, the the big picture is the increase in consumption of hand sanitizer globally is lifted dramatically and there's millions of liters of alcohol on back order mm -hmm. for the purposes of hand sanitizer for Australia and um, it's evident that there's not enough to fulfill the the supply. And so um, we had this formula, we had it tested, and we thought, well, we can get this product, so we're going to make it. And um, in all the standards, it says that it must have alcohol, and I appreciate that. And, um, that, you know, that might have been a historic standard, but there are other products on the market that will behave like it. And so we thought it was really important to get it tested. And there's a standard of three, I won't go into the detail of it, but ours tested to five and then in some areas six. So in some areas our product tested um, more than double the standard of what an alcohol product was. And so we're really proud of it. You put it on your hands, it's, it's, it's very uh, nice after. It, it's got a, a glycerin in it, which keep, keeps your hands supple. And mm -hmm. so my wife's very pleased. <laughs> I bet she is. She is, yeah. But on that point, um, I guess getting back to childcare then, in that case, we, we're looking at the standard um, of area, quality area two, which is children's health and safety. So particularly, obviously, relevance to the childcare centres. Some of the things um, that are included, element 2.1, for example, is the well-being and comfort of the child. So um, I notice on the labelling there that it's, it's very low in odour yeah. um, and also being alcohol free that that would have to be a, a pretty good safety point for... So, so interesting. Um, alcohol is very flammable. It's a dangerous mm. good. And, um, y you know, to put in front of children is not ideal. And already on the news last week, I heard that the incidence of um, children um, ingesting hand sanitizer and poisoning themselves as a result of it has risen. And because of it's so readily available now in the house. And so there's a whole lot of reasons why a non-alcohol based one that performs to the standard is a preferred product. Uh, even in mining, the benzoconium chloride is used because they, they won't have a, uh, a, um, a, a flammable product. A flammable combustible. So, so the, you know, um, it's a legitimate product. And we're saying we want, if you can't get what you want, 
please consider this. Look at the look at the details. Look at the studies. Um, it actually one hundred percent aligns better with quality standard two two point one yep. than than actually an alcohol based one. Well, if you're saying that it exceeds the requirements, because I noticed on uh, you showed me the lab results for that, um, it actually kills better than ninety nine point nine nine percent. And there's lots of products out there that claim that they kill 99.9% .9 of germs, and it's quite a general claim. So I understand that with your testing, it was it was the TGA standard tests against strains like persistent strains like E. coli and Staphylococcus. So it's not just germs in general. These are specific persistent and very strong strains of bacteria, unlike the healthy bacteria that some people are talking about right now, unhealthy bacteria, um, and this kills them dead in a minute. Well, at the end of the day, if, you, if you're um, looking after a child on someone else's behalf, you have a duty of care to make sure you look after them the best way you can. Yeah. And um, there will be a lot of debates about how to do that over a range of uh, subjects. Mm. And we figure if we've got a product that will um, perform as good or better than an alcohol product, and that we've got a third party to endorse that, and it is better on your hands, mm -hmm. it's, it's um, a non-dangerous good, Mm -hmm. um, it's not flammable and doesn't have actually alcohol so it can't poison anyone yep. um, that's got to be a win all around and Certainly. so it, if you are so compelled you need to check out what we're doing it's a fantastic product well again looking at um, element 2.1.2 .2 of the child care safety standard that's about health practices and procedures so um, handling and storage of, of chemicals and especially uh, around children that seems like that nails that point very nicely because where you store it and how you store it um, not all child care centres have you know separate large lock up areas so this is something that's suitable to keep in a cupboard um, as long as it's out of reach of children of course um, so the other standard to look at is um, in relation to um, incident and emergency management say around standard 2.2 .2. so i guess that's to do with first aid with require you were talking about ingesting a product a dangerous product so this would be another area you can have some peace of mind about with this 100 yeah, yeah, so, yeah, percent. Um, okay so um there are lots of other elements which we won't go through now, but if you're in childcare and you're interested, you know what your standards are and you can go to that document and have a look at the product um, on the zexa.com.au website. It's called Sure Shield Hand Sanitizer. Yep. And then you can compare the points um, of safety against what this, this product addresses in that way. And Zexa generally sells direct to public, right? It doesn't usually retail products. Yes, we look, we, um, we have a website, we've got a range of products, and I would call us a specialty chemical um, business. We are attached with to uh, the dishwashing division of our, our commercial dishwashing division of our company. Mm -hmm. And um, we build specific chemicals for different dishwashing um, occasions, like a childcare one and then a mainstream hospitality and the cafe, and um, rather than one product fits all. And so it's, it's quite natural for us to start moving into other areas because we specialise, yeah, and uh, we've done that with with hand sanitizer and, and actually hand soap. And there's a there's a big discussion around sanitizers, and and I go, yeah, no, no one no one's talking enough about just wash your hands, right? And washing your hands is the, actually the best thing you can continue to do. If you can't wash your hands, then you sanitise. And so we've we build products around. Um, those specialised things, and as a result of that, you can buy it direct to market. So um, you might want to talk us through then, if if a childcare centre decides to buy this Zexa Sure Shield hand sanitizer, and it comes in a five or a fifteen litre, how might they be able to use that throughout their centre um, outside its bulk form? It's a great question, and if someone had said to me that we were uh, going to sell hand sanitizer in um, five litre lots and lots of it, I would have been very surprised by that. But the amount of daily consumption has increased dramatically. And so this is our most popular size, believe it or not, and people decant it. Mm -hmm. And dispensing is really difficult to get because of the increased demand. Sure, thank you. And so um, we've made this product, it's a liquid, and you can spray it, which I'll demonstrate in a minute, or you can foam it, mm -hmm. which I can demonstrate in a minute. And so it's quite versatile and it's very very affordable this is about fifty dollars fifty dollars for five liters for five liters and I've seen others um, doing five liters for like a hundred and fifty or more 
And um, well, even the supermarket products when they start coming back from China and overseas, if we want to support Australian, support local, which we all should be doing, please do. Please do. This would work out to be about two dollars fifty for a five hundred mil pack, which would be a usual, you know, pump pack or spray pack that you'd have at two dollars fifty. I mean, why would you buy the overseas yeah. imported it's, product it's, if you can buy Australian for that? It's cheap, and mm. we couldn't get um, dispensing um, packs, and mm -hmm. so. I just went to the supermarket and got, it's not a product I use regularly, but it's called Simple Sensitive Skin Experts <laughs> Kind of Skin Vitamin uh, Vital Foaming Cleanser. So it was a cleanser and I said, it's a great cleanser. And um, I then, um, I want to show you that I just put the product in it. Do you want me to hold that while you Thank you, it? that'd be good. And then I'll just grab one of our labels and um, we, we then... Just put a label on the front. And, and if you want some labels from us, just let us know. I'll get it on straight. And then that is a fully compliant item. We've got everything you need on that label to be compliant to your child um, safety standards. That's right. Now, this is a foamer. This is only if you can't get dispensing. Yep. And it, it, it foams beautifully on your hands. Give me that and then you can right. yep, foam away. And so you just rub that on. Make sure you get it in everywhere that you can. And then that just works in your hand beautifully. And then, voila, sanitised hands. And look, no cracks. No cracks. Fantastic. <laughs> now, if you want it um, as a liquid and you can't find a foamer, I've seen some creative ways. So the, the good old spray, spray bottle. So you can just do the, do the same with a, with a trigger pack. Which works Get a quite, label for that too. I mean, which, which works quite well and they're extra, extra, extra sanitised. Mm -hmm. And this morning, one of our people came in and said, <laughs> our, our little grandkids want something to put on. So they emptied out, out a... Um, Not all kids can handle spray a, packs, a, yeah? Yeah, a deodorant. A deodorant. A roll-on. Roll-on. Roll and, and, Great um, idea. I thought that was really clever. Now, when you can get proper dispensing, use the proper one. But in the I've, meantime, you can be creative, like we've been creative in, in, in the business here, like Siren's been creative with uh, pivoting to make these, these products, so you can be creative. As long as the label, you can get the labels from us and you can print them out in any size, or we might even be able to provide you, depending on the quantity, the size that you need for the pack that you need it for, so that you're fully compliant. So we're trying to help. We're trying to, you're just and, trying to help, yeah. Um, in the absence of alcohol, we've said, um, we've done our research on this product, we've got it tested, it performs really well. It's actually better for you. It meets the standards better. You should take a, a good look at it. Have a crack. No, don't have a crack. <laughs> Use this one and you yeah, won't have you any won't cracks. Crack again, so. <laughs> All right. Thanks for listening and tune in for the next episode where we'll be talking about surface sanitizing. Have Thank a great you. Day. Bye bye. bye.